Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL interview in 50 question series, where we are trying to learn hands on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So, we already are done with select statements, then we are currently on basic joins. After this, we will be working on aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins subqueries and finally on advanced string functions regex and clauses okay in our previous video we worked on this question called employee bonus where we practiced our learning for joints and also if a column contains null value how to replace it using if null before comparing it with a float or an integer value in this video we are going to solve this question students and examination and try to learn from it okay so let's jump right in so this is the 12th question of the series students and examination if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so amazon and yahoo so kind of an important question let's go through this question so we are given a table called students with two different columns student id and student name student id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table each row of this table contains the id and the name of one student in the school okay there is another table called subjects with one column subject name which is a variable character subject name is the primary key again column for unique values for this table each row of this table contains the name of one subject in the school and we are also given a third table called examinations again two columns student id and subject name no primary key column with unique values for this table it may contain duplicates each student from the student's table takes every course from the subject's table right this is a very important line because this is going to tell us a type of join that we need to perform each row of this table indicates that a student with id student id attended the exam of a subject name okay we are asked to write a solution to find the number of times each student attended each exam. The result should be ordered by student ID and subject name. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So we have four different students, Alice, Bob, John and Alex. There are three different subjects and we have various examinations in this table. So which student took which exam and how many times, like if you see student ID one took math once, twice, thrice, right? So three times. So student ID one is Alice, right? So Alice took math examination thrice, right? And similarly, Alice will take another like physics, some number of times programming etc right so here if i look in the output let me drag it on the right okay so alice took math examination thrice right and similarly for every other student and subject combination okay so here we are given with three tables right so whenever such is the case always start with two tables and then you can keep on performing the join n number of times so here the this line right each student from the student's table takes every course from the subject's table so basically let's start with this so each student from the student table right takes every course in the subject table. What does this mean? In the sixth video of this series, when we started with join, we learned about inner join, outer join, cross joins. Which of this is the perfect way to go in this case? Cross joins, right? Because for every student ID and student name combination, we need to get the number of subjects in the subject table, right? How can we do that? We need to do a cross join. So, let's go ahead and do that right so let me drag it back here so from right from this table called students aliased as st let's cross join let's cross join the subject table aliased as su and do we need an on clause for a cross join no why not because cross join returns you all the possible combinations right so having an on class does not make any sense in cross join okay let me go ahead and return all the columns so let me do select star and uh, let me run this let's see what do we have in our output let me drag it above okay so our output is so for every student id and student name right so in our um, example so we have four different people right and three subjects so how many total combinations four multiplied by three that is 12 and if you look at it here you have 12 rows so now we are done with this part of the question that each student from the student's table takes every course from the subject's table now we need to count the number of times they took the examinations right and we have the examinations table where we have the student id and the subject name right so we have the from joining these two tables students and subjects we have the student id as well as the subject name in this as well so 
treat this as a table right they treat this thing like all these three columns and all the row all the 12 rows as one table and now we can do a left join on examinations using student id as well as the subject name columns right but you might be thinking what purpose that will solve okay just think about it here you have one unique row for every possible combination so student id 1 alice programming right and in our examinations table we have one programming once if we go for one alice and physics so we have one physics once and one physics twice right so basically if you go ahead and perform a left join so it will have those many rows in the output the number of times this a particular student took the examination right so when you get those many rows for every student the number of times that took the examination all you will have to do is count those number of rows and that will give you what you need in the output attendant exams right okay let me go ahead and do this so after this we are going to perform a left join left join with the examination table right alias as e on now you need to have student id as well as subject name so student id right student id in this is coming from the students table right let me drag it below on so st dot student id is equal to e dot student id and also the subject name subject name in this cross join is coming from the subject table right so su dot subject name is equal to e dot subject name okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have okay so if we look at our output right now let me drag it on the left okay so now we have that okay one alice programming so we saw that right for programming alice took the examination only once physics twice math thrice right so you see this is the purpose of doing a left join with the examinations that now you have basically for every student id and student name how many times they took the examination you have those many number of rows right so now you have this now in our output we need right so in our output we need student id student name subject name and attended exams so basically what we can do from this case we can group by student id student name and subject name and we learned about group by right in our previous videos so what we can do is we can go ahead and group by right so let me group by firstly we need the student id student id is coming from the students table so st dot student id then we also need the student name student name is again coming from the students table so st dot student name then we need the subject name subject name is coming from the subjects one right remember these first two columns are from the students table this one is from the subjects table and these two are from the examinations table right so student name and then subject name so su dot subject name right now we learned about group by that whatever you group by you can only return those columns and we need these three columns in the output right so let me go ahead and copy this paste it here because we need this in our output then how do you count now once you will learn about case when statements further in this series we can go ahead and do this using case when statements as well but just think about it we do not need to use case when statements here doing a count will also do remember one property of count that when you do count star right so basically count all the rows even if those rows have null it will count it but if you count a particular column it will return you only the count of non-null rows right so why will this work in this case so here when i do group by student id student name and subject name right so it is grouping by student id student name and subject name so first group would be one alice and programming and if we count this column right student id coming from the examinations table or you can count the subject name as well does not make any difference but let's take each student id for our conversation here so when we do count right so first one alice programming it will count okay there is one non-null row right so it will return one for physics it will count there are two non-null rows 
for math it will count three non-null rows right similarly for bob for programming it will count one right but for physics it will count this is a null row right in student id so it will return you zero there are no non-null rows for the group two bob physics right so you see that is how count is going to work and give you what you require right because in our output if you look at it right so in our output you need to have two bob physics and zero bob physics zero right so you can get that let me go ahead and do the count part so count right count this and we are counting like you can do anything student id or subject name i am doing student id to this student id column is coming from the examinations table right so e dot student id and alias this as so it is in our output as attended exams right attended exams so attended exams and this is not yet complete because we also need to sort this by student id and subject name right so let me go ahead and do order by st dot student id and su dot subject name okay i think this looks good let me drag it below so this is the entire solution let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here so yeah this is accepted if i drag it above uh our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question, but we were able to practice that, okay, we can perform n number of joins one after the other. So do not get worried if you are having more than two tables when you are working on joins. You can keep on doing the joins as many number of times, but just start with the two most important ones and then continue further we also learned that cross join does not need an on clause and also learned about if you use count on a particular column it is going to return the count of non-null values in that particular column however count star is a different thing so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video